Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Kolo mi a noodle dish that is similar to Malaysian and Indonesian mi goreng, often served with meat, vegetables, and chili sauce. Kolo mi is a popular dish in Sarawak, Malaysia, and is often considered one of the state's signature dishes. It is a type of noodle dish that consists of springy yellow egg noodles, tossed in a flavorful sauce made with soy sauce, oyster sauce, and lard, and topped with slices of char siu, barbecued pork, minced pork, and fried shallots. Sometimes, other ingredients like prawns or fish balls may also be added. Kolomi is typically served dry, without any soup, and may be accompanied by a small bowl of soup on the side. It is often garnished with slices of green onion and chili sauce, and some versions may also include a sprinkle of pork lard for extra flavor. Kolomi is a popular breakfast or lunch option in Sarawak and can be found in many coffee shops and hawker centers throughout the state. It is also gaining popularity in other parts of Malaysia and Southeast Asia. Soto, a soup made with various meats, vegetables, and spices, often served with rice or noodles. Soto soup is a traditional Indonesian soup that is popular in many Southeast Asian countries, including Malaysia and Singapore. The soup typically consists of a flavorful broth made from chicken or beef, flavored with a blend of aromatic herbs and spices such as turmeric, ginger, and lemongrass. Other ingredients commonly found in soto soup include boiled eggs, bean sprouts, shredded chicken or beef, fried shallots, and lime wedges. The soup is often served with steamed rice and crispy crackers. Soto soup is a comforting and hearty dish that is often enjoyed as a meal on its own but it can also be served as a starter or appetizer. It is a popular street food in many Southeast Asian countries, and each region has its own unique take on the recipe. Pisang goreng, fried bananas that are a popular snack throughout Southeast Asia. Pisang goreng is a traditional Indonesian snack made from sliced bananas that are battered and deep fried until crispy. The bananas used for pisang goreng are usually ripe, sweet, and soft, such as the Cavendish variety, to make pisang goreng, the bananas are typically coated in a mixture of flour, cornstarch, and baking powder, along with spices such as cinnamon and cardamom. The coated bananas are then deep-fried in hot oil until golden brown and crispy on the outside. Pisang goreng is often served as a snack or dessert and can be enjoyed on its own or with a variety of dipping sauces, such as chocolate, caramel, or condensed milk, in addition to Indonesia. Pisang goreng is also a popular snack in other Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei. Nasi ketok, a simple dish of rice, fried chicken, and sambal sauce that is a popular late-night snack in Brunei. Nasi ketok is a popular dish in Brunei. It consists of steamed rice, nasi, served with a piece of crispy fried chicken, ketok, and a sambal chili sauce. The dish is typically served in a small packet or container, making it convenient for people who are on the go or want to grab a quick meal. The origins of nasi ketok are not entirely clear, but it is believed to have originated in the Brunei Muara district in Brunei. The name ketok is said to refer to the sound of the knocking on the door that the street vendors would make to sell the dish to customers. Today, nasi ketok is a beloved food item in Brunei and can be found at various food stalls, restaurants, and even some fast food chains. It is often eaten for breakfast or as a late night snack. The dish is known for its simplicity and affordability, making it a popular choice for people from all walks of life in Brunei.